So energy storage overall, you know, how do you put the energy, uh, a s electricity store in a way you can use it easily, has played a very important role to the modern society. You know, everybody has a cell phone, laptops, right, and other gadgets. They're all powered by lithium-ion batteries. Batteries have been very, very important to enable the, the mobile applications. We have seen that. The most uh, important thing, the uh, important innovation in the battery research uh, actually lie on materials. For example, if you want to increase the energy density the batteries can store, so you can have a longer range of uh, electrical transportation, you will need to come up with new materials for the anode and the cathode. There are, there are two electrodes inside the battery. You want to have use new materials they can store a lot more charges to increase the amount of energy you can store. So I will be talking about new anode materials uh, such as silicon, uh, lithium metal, uh, uh, and also a f uh, uh, phosphorus. And uh, they potentially can store 10 times more charges than the graphite carbon used in the current technology. I will also be talking about sulfur cathode that can also store 10 times more charges compared to the current lithium cobalt oxide cathode uh, using the batteries. So uh, these are the really exciting new materials, but they have a lot of fundamental challenges, problems, such as volume expansion, breaking. So how do you do materials design to overcome the problem has been the focus in the past uh, uh, 10 years in my research group. Uh, we made a lot of progress in, in, in those areas. So grid scale storage um, uh, requires you to have a, a battery system very big. Uh, you can store a lot of energy right there. Uh, because the scale is so big, you also want the battery's cost to be very, very low. Otherwise, just, you just couldn't make it to the, to the uh, practical market. So. And once you look at the current uh, battery technology based on lithium ions, uh, it's just too expensive. So you need to come up new type of a battery's chemistry. They can store energy with very low cost. So it's also the new materials we need to look into. For example, um, in my group, we have generated two very exciting uh, battery technologies. One of them is I call a, a lithium metal polysulfide semi-flow batteries. The anode is lithium metal. The cathode is a liquid. It's a so-called cathode light. You can flow in and flow out of polysulfide solution. Very high concentration of polysulfide. And the sulfur is very low cost. And uh, uh, these can uh, potentially be uh, scaled up using a you know, big tank to store your liquid. So this one has a low cost potential to meet the grid scale storage uh, requirement. Another technology in, in my lab related to grid scale is to, uh, we have a new materials based on the uh, Prussian blue. Uh, is a uh, very low cost materials. People uh, many years ago used uh, this material to dye the gene into blue color that can be used to store sodium ions and aqueous solution and using water as the solvent, very low cost, very long cycle life. Uh, uh, so these two has a great potential.